All right, guys, normally I do a big intro, whatever, but we need to get right into this because this is more of a PSA than a video. There is a pickups after this, but if you live in Canada and there's a GameStop near you, I need you to run, not walk, maybe skip straight to that GameStop because they are doing a really massive, kind of weird clearance sale. And what do, I, what do we mean by that? PS4, 5, Xbox One games, and Series X for as low as two fucking dollars. Holy shit. Uh, I've never heard of Earth Breakers, but I have it. So, you know, this is just, uh, I just want to let you guys know, Canada, GameStop, they're doing a weird clearance thing. As low as $2, I think $5 is the upper limit. And now to the more formulated video of, I went to GameStop and bought everything they had for my collection. You know, one of everything. Two of one specific one, because a friend wanted it, but we'll get to that in a bit. I have quite a few games here today. Uh, you know, a good stack from GameStop. And, you know, fucking collector's editions to go through as well. But first, let's put these on the side. Um, what else did I get recently? You know, let's go through some stuff. So, I got this. That was just for fun. It was like three bucks. It's a childhood game to put on the shelf. I'm never going to actually play it. I have a <coughs> download version of it. But GameStop recently also, or not recently, but a little while ago. Uh, I just stopped talking. <laughs> uh, a little while ago, did an Amiibo run. And I don't know if my GameStop did it early, but... I went in, I did a bunch of trade-in credit because I didn't really want to spend money, and I picked up a bunch of Amiibo, and I had like $20 left over, and the leftover $20 is what paid for that stack of shit. I didn't have to pay a fucking dime for that. So, like, we are vibing right now. So, the, what I originally traded in for was Amiibos. We got Sora, which finally came out, you know. Sora with his Master Sword riding the Warthog around. I play video games. Don't worry, I know how to record videos too. Um, of course, Joker. Joker was the main reason I went in. Sora is really cool as well. But And then this one is another one that I, it gets rare and it gets expensive, but they reprinted it and I had enough in credit, so I figured why not. Banjo. Um, more stuff for the wall. These two will go on the Amiibo wall. This one's going with the Persona shelf, which maybe I'll show off after. And now the games. So yeah, first we'll take a look straight at the first one. Rift Breaker. Never heard of it. Um, oh, I was going to say it's an empty case, but it's it's got the disc in there. It's just a really weird case. What the fuck? Very odd. Um, I really only bought these because it was a bunch of stuff to fill out the shelf. I really didn't want to... Uh, Leave anything behind it and own. Just to show, so I'm trying not to show any like account info or anything. But like, actually, I'll save this for the collection edition because that's mainly what's on this receipt. I forgot I have a digital receipt for the majority of this because I ordered online, picked up in store to make sure I got it. But yeah, Rift Breaker. No, nope, know what it is. Um, Top down of some sort, some strategy game, I guess. Another PS5 game, five dollars. So five dollars was the upper limit, as I mentioned. This is Outriders. This is a Sony title that I think did really poorly. Um, or not Sony, Square Enix. God, it does come. Let me hide this here with the Day One Hell Rangers content pack, which isn't used because these are all brand new games. No one's used this. At least they're not supposed to have. And, uh, of course, the disc. I don't know anything about this, once again. Will I play it? Probably. Will I enjoy it? Probably not. But yeah, other than that, these are all PS4 games. Uh, people have been mentioning Riot Games, you know? You Riot Games, they make good games, right? Is this what you mean? Riot Civil Unrest? Don't know what it is. Looks like another simulator of some sort for another $2. Ooh, we got inside artwork this time. Yeah, it's like a pixel game. Kind of looks like Project Zomboid. Interesting. Cool. Rogue 
Stormers. Never heard of it. Once again, as you're going to see with most of these, I've either never heard of them or I have heard of them and they never piqued my interest. Nothing cool on the inside, just the disc. Um, don't know what it is, looks like platform fighter of some sort maybe. In Nightmare. I've heard this game was fun but buggy. Um, so this is one I've heard of but I wasn't actively hunting. But now that I have it, I'll definitely give it a shot. It looks it looks cute, see. Looks interesting. Puzzle game. What is this? Ghost Parade. Oh, Axis. Oh shit. Platformer of some sort. Interesting. Wow. Ooh, we even got a manual? Holy shit. Axis coming in clutch with the quality. Bro, it's colored. Holy shit, that's so cool. And the nice colored artwork on the inside too. This is, what the hell? Two bucks, I'm not complaining with that. I will gladly take that. That was probably the coolest thing here. This is the one that piqued the most interest, if I'm being honest, Mad Rat Dead. Um, on eBay, this goes for like $30 from what I was seeing. And of course, as I mentioned, I'm not selling these. These were for me, but I've never heard of it. It looks interesting. I will definitely play it. I don't know what it is. I What the fuck is this? Jump, dash, and smash through and stage... Oh, it's a rhythm-based platformer. Okay. Well, that just piqued my interest even more. I love platformers. This next game is the most expensive in terms of resale. It's like $60 brand new sealed. It was a $5 game. They didn't even put the sticker on it because I was just going to pick it up anyway. And... It is the most disappointing for me, because this is a game I've been eyeing since it came out, called Al Alchemic Cutie. Um, and once again, I just said it's five dollars, wasn't too bad. It's got a very cute premise, but I'm a trophy hunter, and this game's trophies are fucked. Like, I mean, you can't earn, like, half of them for some reason. I'll probably still play it, I'll, I'll fuck up my, uh my account with it. I don't care too, too much. We've also got little goodies that were inside it, which is kind of cool. Something else. What is this? Oh, shit. A poster. This looks like a poster for the wrong game? Maybe? Um, is that supposed to be in there? I don't know. I'll keep this like it is for now. I don't really want to put cardboard up in display in my room. It's just going to fall over and get lost. And I guess I'll we'll put the Goodbye World in there too. Maybe that was like a pre-order bonus for a different game. Either way. Very f glad to have it. I will at least say that. Um, but that's, yeah. Yeah. And the last things are the collector's editions. So, these are the same. I did buy dupes of one thing, as I said, which was the collector's editions. $2 collector's editions. $2 for Little Dragon's Cafe, which is created by the same creator as Harvest Moon, like the good Harvest Moon, the original one, not the new stuff. Um, and I bought two of them mainly because I'm probably going to either try to complete the other one or send it to a friend. And I say complete because they priced it and realized it. They had accidentally gutted the game. So... If you don't know what gutting a game means, it's when they put a box like this on display. They can't put all the contents in it because people are going to steal it. So they gut out the contents, put the box on the shelf, and then when they sell it, they put the contents back in and sell it. Someone accidentally sold the disc that was in the display copy. Um, this happens all the time. It's not really anyone's fault. It might have just been a new hire. But at $2 for a near-complete collector's edition, I can complete myself for like $10 on eBay. I'm not going to complain. So we won't open this one, which is going to be odd because, you know, normally I open everything. But this is the second time I've owned this. I already have all these things. So, you know, we'll open one just to show them off. And then, yeah. That, well, we're not going to show off the disc, unfortunately. But, yeah, we've got this plush. Nice, cute plush. My second one, as I said. Uh, the disc. And the art cards. So, I these are the second art cards I have, but unfortunately the last ones got destroyed. Um, by what? Water. Because I spilt my drink like a dumbass. 
So cool, we have more art cards again. It's all the characters. You got Ren, Rin, Draco, Mother, Pappy, Billy, Ipanama, Lucola, Poncho, Celis, Rosetta, I remember Rosetta, Maurice, Huey, Shushu, adorable, Ginji, kind of adorable, Mier, Lanch, and Dr. Zeph. So, the history for me in this game is kind of weird. I actually streamed it eons ago. Um, maybe I'll go back and finish it now that I have it. It really depends on whether or not I'm going to open this one for the disc or if I'm going to buy another disc. But who knows? But yeah, shorter video today. Only, you know, 10-ish minutes. Good pickups. Um, and we'll end off showing off the Amiibo wall, but I do want to recap... GameStop, amazing deals if you're an Xbox or PlayStation fan. They might have one or two Switch games, but it's exceedingly rare for Switch games to go on sale. So, you know. But yeah, GameStop Canada is not letting you down this time. Holy crap. Alright, so you haven't seen this yet, because it's actually in a video that was supposed to be going up tomorrow. But I'm doing this one instead, because it's a big, you know, bit of a rush deal, because of the sale. Um, but yeah, that's the Persona shelf for now. And... This is the main amiibo shelf, or wall. I'm probably going to move it away from the window because I don't want the window to really sun damage them. Where? Probably over there. But yeah. Banjo-Kazooie up there and all the other ones. This is everything I own except a Wolf Link, which I have the amiibo of out of the box. But I pre-ordered one from Best Buy like three months ago it was back order and it's not fulfilling till i think may so wolf link will be up there soon right beside zelda 